Hola amigos, welcome back to another episode of RL Craft and man, the response on this first video was absolutely amazing. So thank you so much guys for all the support and uh, all the comments especially. I love reading your comments and as soon as I finish this video I'm going to reply to all of them. Uh, now, uh, a couple of suggestions people gave me on the channel. I don't know, I have like, I can see the animals through the walls. And that's because I have uh, just outside the uh, my base. I have this um, this wisp here uh, that actually give you light and uh, something else. I don't remember what it is, but uh, yeah, we can see the horses. I have a friend waiting for me outside, <laughs> right there. Um, what else I did? I did a bunch of mining uh, in between episodes. Uh, I opened up in here all the dirt that was there so we can see outside and I see some baddies. Uh, I I was killed a couple of times but I wasn't uh, recording. Uh, we have here and I think actually the creatures. Let's take a look at... Uh, yeah, I think this one killed me once. Uh, mining uh, mining the, um, the diamonds downstairs. And this one killed me one also uh, <laughs> downstairs. Uh, beast, I've seen the chupacabra. Luckily, it didn't kill me. And this one in here, the creature can be someone has a minion also as well. So we have some pets in here and summoning. So we can summon this passive, no, follow, assist, aggressive, uh, defensive, assist. So really cool stuff. And talking about summoning, uh, Seraphine recommended doing the uh, summoning. Oh, and I made the, I just made the shield. This one shield. There's a bunch of shields in the pack, uh, so you can go for this one with uh, one iron, regular Minecraft one. I went with this one. It's uh, four irons, but uh, it looks different, so I wanted to test it out and see how it looks, and it looks really, really nice. Uh, I don't know if it's better or not from the other ones, but anyway. Uh, summoning. Uh, so she recommended doing this. Ender pair, bones, and gold. And uh, believe it or not, I have like eight ender pairs. Um, I think they are the banshees or something that drops ender pair. I don't I don't exactly know which one is. Um, I also got these hard crystals, not only from mobs, but also I got them from uh, mining. So next to the gold, there was a bunch of these, and you can convert this to a heart container, which if I use it, it will give me one more heart in there, so you can see it there. So that's really nice. Uh, so we need, uh, what else we need in here? A piece of bone. Okay, we should have a few bones in here. And I, actually, I have more bones downstairs in a chest that I left because I was full. Um, and I need a piece of gold as well. So let's go ahead and make these uh, summoning stuff. Excellent. So we'll put it in here for now. Uh, there's a, a, no, uh, a couple of other things that uh, I want to uh, do. Boganoia recommended doing, of course, the Atlas. I didn't know it was on the pack, so great. So we're going to need some iron and redstone. And uh, yeah, I've been getting this Umber Lover. I'm not 100% sure what the hell it is that. It's probably a mob of size, so I'm going to go check it out. But it looks like a boss uh, bar. So not 100% sure what that's all about. So let's grab some of these. Actually, I was cooking more. Uh, more iron, more gold, uh, more iron. Uh, all right. So we have a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's go ahead and make one of these. And I have a book and quill already in here. I have a few there. Now, this actually compass give you a different aspect in here, I've seen. Uh, so we are in a rocky plains. Just uh, um, you, you have the seed, I think. Uh, if not, this is the seed we're working on. And this is my coordinates right now. So 3389 and Z is 343, which is great. All right, so now we can combine both of them. Very cool. So if I open the map, you will see uh, map is right there, uh, in there, and you can see where the map is. So we can put a marker right where we are in here, and let's call it home. And you can change the icon. Let's put this uh, home in there. 
very cool so we have a map i'm gonna put the map in here actually i need more water and let's combine this with the charcoal and probably i'm gonna put it like that so there you go so we have a map we have a summoning staff uh other things i wanted to make is the um uh what is it called uh this one here the experience logbook so we need four ender pairs and a book and i think we can do that we have uh these books i don't know if i can use this book if not uh we'll grab a vanilla one actually i need to grab it uh so if i can use these books that's gonna be awesome uh so i can get rid of it but if not we'll take care uh we'll take a look at it yeah i can use it all right so experience logbook which is really nice uh let's put that one back in there so we have these two to take uh take a look at it in a second uh i need some kind of ranged weapon and i don't have i just have a bow what i did notice is that all these armor have a random like um stats in there uh so uh, if i do um let's actually do a spear uh i'm gonna do a rock well actually let's do a iron spear and see what it is you see it's attack it says something there but as soon as i make it uh it will say plus 20 percent attack speed and 0.5 reach distance so if i make another one let's make another one and you will see uh it will get plus 10 percent attack speeds so they this uh the uh, the uh, stats actually are randomized or something which is really nice anyway that's another thing i wanted to make let's go ahead and sleep for a second umber lover i don't know what the hell is an umber lover but we're gonna find out uh, soon enough um what else i wanted to make beside the summoning staff uh, there are some uh, rings as well that we could make but i don't know if i have a potion ring yeah, I did find some lapis uh, just over that distance. There was a um, there's a place uh, there, there was like a, um, a like a little tower with a bunch of lapis. So we got a bunch of that. So we probably can do this. Uh, do I have enough gold? I do have uh, enough. Uh, so let's do uh, let's do that one as well. So we can make a potion ring. And this actually can be used to make a little better, like uh, speed haste, um, resistance, which is going to be cool. I don't think I have sugar can yet. Uh, no, I don't. All right, so I cannot do the speed. And if we take a look at the uses of these, uh, emeralds I don't have. No, I don't have emeralds yet. All right, so I think the only one I can make is the uh, resistance ring rabbit hole uh rabbit hole rabbit food i don't have blaze i don't have and gas tier i don't have all right so that's the uh the only one we can make right now so i can make uh, one of the resistant potions and i can put that in my bubbles and i have a little bit of resistant i actually can make two so let's go ahead and make another one and grab that one in there and we can put it on the bubbles so we do have uh this in here so you see we have another heart in there uh so if i go to my bubbles and i throw that one on yeah i do have a little bit of resistance those are the two in there uh that i see okay so that's a cumulative i don't know if i can put more uh three tax mbt bubble uh, it does give me a uh, plus three attack speed and plus 0 0.5 jump high, which is great as well. Half a heart while plus 2% attack speed and half hearted plus half a heart. So that's why I'm getting this, I guess. I don't know, but it looks cool. So let's put all that in there um anything else i want so i have a few experience in here so this one here uh probably uh shift right click yeah shift right click you put your experience inside the uh experience logbook 
Uh, another thing I wanted to make, I don't have enough, I think, is the uh, the backpack. Although I don't love these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have only five. Is there a way to do more? Uh, let's take a look in here. I can throw leather to get more. Do I have some of the uh, leather? I do have this one. Uh, I think there was another one uh, around here. Uh, this is kind of annoying, those two rings in the middle, in there. Hmm. I don't like that. Probably there was, uh, there's gonna be a way to, to remove that. Uh, I just wanna check this in here. Can I use that one for leather? Yes, I can. What about this one? No, because it's used already. Alright, so we have a little bit of leather here. Can I use that one as well? No. What about this? I guess only uh, the, um, the the feet. Okay. Uh, but at least we have how much? Seven right now. Excellent. So let's do a backpack. I don't know how useful it's going to be. The, result, the only backpack that I saw on this pack so far. Uh, so let's put that in there. And the other thing I need is a piece of gold and wool. So another piece of gold. That's and that's my last one there. And a piece of wool in here. So we can make a nice backpack. By the way, I got those. Uh, I don't know if I saw that in the video. I got this obsidian from the ghoul, I think it's called. Uh, and this soul sand also from some mobs. So... I can't, if the overworld is like that, I cannot imagine the nether. Uh, anyway, so we have a backpack right there. We can open and put some stuff inside. Now, if I want to actually carry on the backpack, I need to remove my, my chest so I can hold shift and break it and it goes directly into my inventory. And I can shift right click to put it back. Now, if I break it without holding shift, everything goes to the ground. And uh, yeah, I cannot use it like with these in here. So I probably keep it in here just for a portable inventory or some sort, maybe. I don't know. Uh, man, I'm getting cold. Another thing I want to make is uh, from the uh, from the tough of, uh, um, what is it called? Tough as nail. You can make this wool uh, armor. And you can make this slime armor. So when we go to snowy areas, we can wear this wool. And when we go to a very hot area, like a desert, we can wear this one here. Uh, we can also make, for example, this uh, rain collector. Uh, not sure. Or these two to actually put the space where we are cooler or hotter, depending on where we are. But I think I'm going to skip that for now. I do want to make uh, uh, some shears just to grab with us because I saw some uh, sheep outside. But uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I think we have everything. So let's go ahead and explore a little bit. Um, I'm going to put this one here. And uh, let's take that one with us. Like so. And first of all, let me check if the uh, creeper is still here. No, it's not. Okay. So, uh, oh, and by the way, I added the shaders, uh, as you can see. So they look uh, really nice. Uh, on the website, they recommend a, a texture pack that I tried and I didn't like it. And you can see also I, my skills, actually, I put some in building, gathering, mining, magic, attack. I haven't put anything on farm because we have a bunch of food or building yet. Uh, but the rest, I put a bunch of uh, skill points. So we have uh, some wool in here. Excellent. Uh, I don't like that one. I don't know if it's a good one or not. Can I shear the cows in here? No. Uh, all right, but I'm gonna need some uh, some more um, what is it called leather. And uh, there's always a chance that a mob can spawn when you kill these animals. And I was afraid. It already happened once, I think. Uh, but I don't remember if it was in this uh, world or before. I, re I remember having... Uh, okay, so we got some wool from these guys. And I'm going to leave them in there. 
uh, because well just in case uh, I need them eventually I don't want to go inside that cave all right so let's uh, we have nine wool already excellent all right so um, let's check out also the summoning here so let's see how this works I've never used this so I guess I have to Oh, I can summon this uh, Ramot. Okay, okay. So if we take a look at the inventory here and creatures. Uh, normal. Can I do something about it? All right, if I go to summoning. There you go. Aggressive, acid, sit, wander, passive. Uh, what are these? Um... Uh, you're someone in focus and someone in focus goes. I don't know exactly how this works. Where the hell is that guy? He looks awesome. He looks awesome. And he probably assists me in. Uh, are you coming with me? Yeah. He probably assists me on fighting. So uh, let's actually go out. And I want to check this uh, Umber Lover because this is, must be around here. It's on this area. I guess my pet went away. They probably last a few seconds or something. So let's go ahead over this area because I do want to see what the hell is that umber lobber. I don't know if it's in here or what. Oh yeah, you are okay. Um, hmm, strange. I don't know where that uh, that boss is. Um. But it popped up when I was underground, actually, so probably it's not in here, but in this uh, chunk, maybe only. Anyway, uh, nothing else in here. Yeah, it's probably underground. Uh, so we, we should probably go underground and check it out. Uh, but before I, I do that, I wanted actually to go to... Um, uh, next to the uh, village, I saw a little tower there that I want to explore. And uh, let's uh, eat something also. I'm gonna put that away for now. Oh, that's a horrible... That's a horrible uh, Enderman in there. Those purple ones are terrible. And I think we're getting nighttime, so let's go to sleep. Uh, there is always a chance when you sleep outside, like without a roof, that you will spawn a mob as well. So it's always a good idea to sleep under, in, uh, indoors, uh, even when uh, you use your backpack. Uh, that could happen. All right, so let's uh, let's go over there, and we'll see if we can find. Uh, you see how it appears that umber. So if you know what it is, let me know. Uh, where to look for it? It's probably underground. Man, those endermans are terrifying. Luckily, it's an enderman, so if I don't look at it, we're gonna be okay. Um, what is this? Actually, I haven't seen this. Uh, and I see some. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's grab all this uh, stuff. A couple of arrows. Alright, excellent. Uh, we'll grab these two as well. And is that a... Um, hmm. That seems to be okay. I thought it was strap. No, alright. So we have a saddle. Excellent. And I, I can come back for the heads if we need them. Or the iron bars. Right, actually, now that we have a saddle, uh, didn't I saw a horse in here? Yeah, look at that. I think I'm gonna grab this horse. Uh, uh, I'm gonna need to do something like this. Excellent. This should be a nice horse. Now we can go with the horse to uh, take a look at the village, maybe. Come on, horsey. Man, you're tough. Man, you don't like me at all. 
All right, there you go. So let's use the saddle. All right, let's go this direction. And right there is the village where we started. So I want to go over this direction. There was uh, a little bit of uh, a tower that I saw. Yeah, here. Then again, the umber. Um, I don't know what it is. All right, we have a tower right here. Um, let's actually put the horse in there. For now, come on, you stay there and I can jump out. Excellent. I don't want to lose you. Um, all right, we have a spawner right there. Uh, probably a good idea. Uh, to put some torches in here. Uh, let's see. On this side. All right, we have another another spawner right there. Let's put a torch. Uh, let's take a look. Man, a bunch of saddles. Uh, advanced look lock of the sea. All right. So in this pack, uh, I was testing actually uh, some of the spawners, and it turned out that these spawners are not that great. Uh, after a couple of uh, mob spawning, they will disappear. But even with that, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pick up everything in here. I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the floors and I'm going to let them spawn so I can kill them. And the only thing I want to do is actually uh, probably make some kind of, um, yeah, probably remove the floor in here and make them spawn and put some slabs on the floor and nothing fancy I think but uh, something like that so I can kill a few of them before I break the spawner or I don't know how much how much experience uh, those spawners will give you so probably we'll find out uh, so let's go ahead and make a chest in here I'm gonna Put that in here for now. Uh, let's go ahead and make a chest so I can throw some stuff away. Uh, put it. I cannot put the chest. Yeah, there you go. All right. So I am going to put some stuff away. And take a look at this uh, spawner here. So let me play around with this a little bit and I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, I came back home because it was uh, already getting uh, dark, uh, but uh, let's go back to our mob farm in there and uh, we'll find out eventually if those spawners disappear or not, but I'm pretty sure they will. But still, uh, that's gonna allow us to get a bunch of experience anyway, so I do want to make it uh, like that. I think before uh, destroying them, I think we'll, uh, we'll get some... Um, so mob, I, I, I think we have a, a zombie and a skeleton spawner. I have to check that back again. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, and do this. So let me show you what I have so far. So I only have I put actually in there. Let me get those uh, blocks. And what the hell happened? Okay. Oh, it's because I right click with my hand, man. Uh, let me remove this. Okay, let me grab all these in here as well. And let's put back that in there. And uh, we have another spawner in there, so we'll probably have to put it dark. And what I did is I made a tunnel in here. That's where we're gonna stand. And there you go, so we can break this one, I think. This is a good view, although, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be okay. So we can put that in here uh, to kill these uh, mobs. And I would love to be probably a little bit higher. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll see how it goes. Probably I will get wrecked anyway. 
But uh, uh, what I need to do in there right now is uh, remove the uh, the torch and probably put some blocks to prevent the light. Also, those windows are not going to be that effective. Um, so yeah, let's put uh, let's put some blocks in here. Uh, just to prevent a little bit of lightning. There you go. And also on this side. Um, and probably in here as well. I know as soon as I remove these, probably they will start spawning. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, they spawn. And I think I left my door open and downstairs, right? Um, so, uh, let me go out of here. Oh man, is there a, is there some water? No, but there's a tree. All right. Uh, let's close the door. Actually, they shouldn't be able to go out in here. Yes, they are. All right. But at least we have something. I'm going to have to destroy that, uh, that in there as well. And also just in case, I'm going to put that in here. And uh, let's see how much experience this guy has. So we have uh, three levels. Uh, I'm gonna put everything on in here right now. And uh, let's take a look. Yeah, let's see. Can I see that torch in there? I can. Oh man, that's not good. Gonna have to remove it. But anyway, uh, here you are. It's an improvised uh, mob farm, but at least we're gonna get some experience from this. So I'm not concerned about the drops, but if we need the drops, we can also, um, I think it's uh, just right click. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, I need to get the hell out of here. Um, put that back. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, I was trying to get that and it uh, didn't work. All right. Uh, I need to remove that torch. And if I remove uh, that in there now, we're, we're getting only the skeletons. What the hell? We have a... We have a bad one there. We have an infernal one. All right. I need to remove that torch from here. I think it is right so can I no not that one all right let's uh, let's just remove that one and we'll see if we can remove that torch all right also I could remove these to make the spawning a little better in here uh, he almost saw me there there you go uh, probably there's another one on the other side Yeah, we could remove that one here as well. No, don't you dare. What do you think about this? Yeah, we have a ton of spawning in there. So I do think it's worth it to, uh, to use the spawner as a spawning. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna remove these just to make sure uh, to make a platform here. All right. Oh, I got some uh, poison from one of the guys. Uh, man, I'm getting a lot of loot as well in here. So probably it's going to be a good idea to make some room. All right. Let's put all that in there. That one, that one, that one. I'm just going to keep some blocks just in case I need to. All right. Yeah, they kind of see me in a way, so it's not the best uh, best play. 
but I think it's a good mob farm. Very, very quick mob farm and improvise. Now, what happens if I summon this guy in here? He's gonna try to go in, right? To to kill them, or he went away? I don't know. Probably doesn't have the space to go. All right. This is working great. This is the infernal one. And I'm assuming, because I haven't seen a lot of uh, um, a lot of these guys, is uh, they're not spawning yet. But I want to check if the um, yeah we have another one there. I think uh, sooner or later that spawner on top is gonna uh, is gonna go away. And this one are not spawning because of the light levels in here are not great. But we'll solve that problem. I think there's uh, probably another window over here. No. Alright. But we gained 17 levels of experience. So next time we see a spawner, uh, I'm gonna just break it to make sure uh, how much levels I get so far. That I think... Ooh, iron battle. Two-handed. That's cool. That's cool. We get a bunch of... Uh, that's something that we're not gonna get if we break the spawner though the, all the bones and arrows and the the loot so i think it's worth it if you have the time to uh to make it um really nice all right let's take a look in here all right so i think we don't have any more skeleton spawner let's take a look very quickly yeah, skeleton spawners disappear as you can see. Now we need to make this spawn. And uh, if we check F9, we'll see the light levels in here. So we have a torch in there. That's why they're not spawning in here. So as soon as I remove that torch, we should get some uh, mob spawning probably for the uh, this one. Now this is a rare brewing zombie of deprivation. So I think it was even better to get the skeletons first and then uh, get the rest. So now I'm gonna sit in here and kill uh, these guys now. There's a bunch of arrows actually. Uh, you know what? I wanna get that and I wanna test uh, this in here. Uh, let me put a torch right there to avoid more spawning. And I'm gonna let my pet lose in there. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so I wanna get first all the loot that is there. So they're not gonna be spawning anymore for now. Uh, we got a nice uh, bow. Oh no, it's a boomerang. That's awesome. All right. Man, a lot of loot. Um. We get also this healing salve for uh, to make it more uh, bandages and stuff. Oh, night time! All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and sleep in here. Uh, there are monsters outside. What the hell? I tried to sleep, and this is what happened. Oh my god! Uh, I need to sleep in there, but there are monsters outside. I cannot sleep yet. Oh man, I didn't realize it was nighttime. Uh, so I'm gonna have to grab this. And I think I'm gonna have to make a little hole in here so I can sleep. So let's go. Uh, let's go down a little bit. And too much stuff I have. I uh, probably I can sleep in here, but I want to put all my stuff 
in a chest. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Oh, right. we were lucky. <laughs> right, I guess I won't put anything on my chest. Please let me sleep in here. All right. Awesome. <laughs> uh, you're now able to summon the Reaper. Uh, that's not what I want. Let's grab all these. Alright, at least now the mobs are gonna start dying. And I should probably put these back in there. We'll wait for the mob to uh, die. Let's take a look at the bestiary because I think now we can summon the Reaper as well. Awesome! And this guy. Uh, let's take a look in here. So if I go uh, B and summon in, can I ask him to assist and he's going to come? Yeah, look at that. All right, there is some mobs in here. What about you? Are you going to... Where is the zombie? Right here. He's hiding for the Reaper. All right, he has to probably touch me. For the Reaper to come to my help? No? Come on, man. He's right there. He's not doing anything. Um, do I need to tell him to aggressive? Come on. Uh, all right. I don't know if he helped me or not, but anyway. Uh, let's put all this stuff in here. We have a troll boomerang. That's okay. That's nice. Uh, bandage. A few of those. I think overall this has been a really nice. Oh, and the uh, spawner disappeared already. All right. So you can see now we know the spawner is going to disappear. Uh, but I think it's still worth it to uh, try to collect all the loot from those guys. So look at this. Really cool stuff. Anyway, guys. I think that's going to be for this episode. We'll learn a bunch of stuff and uh, I'm happy so far with what we get. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys that I didn't die on this episode. <laughs> but uh, I'm taking this very carefully. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys on the next one. Let's actually summon one more beast. Uh, well, actually, that one is really cool, actually. Assist, defensive, aggressive, wonder, follow, passive, PvP. Yeah, I need to, I need to find out a little bit more about these uh, creatures here, but... Oh, man, this looks awesome. This looks very nice. Look at the Reaper there, right there. I hope that's my pet. And it's not the one. Yeah, Escorok Reaper. Excellent. Uh, what I did notice is that it, it started consuming this green stuff. So I don't know exactly how how much they last. Can I damage him? No, it's my pet. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. By the way, as you can see, I grab everything from here and uh, I have my backpack in there. I remove my chest piece and now I can break it and take everything home, uh, which is great. So it's still worth uh, to have the backpack just for these occasions. So now it's just a matter of uh, going home with all my backpack full of goodies. And I think it's uh, really nice to have. Uh, so I will still recommend doing uh, the backpack even if it's uh, oh man a lot of body there I'm gonna have to come back in here and put some light in in there and uh, let me know what the hell is the umber lover and it's probably downstairs because when I was in the mining area I didn't actually uh, finish the, that up so yeah, we're gonna have to go in there and explore. Uh, now she right click to put the backpack. Very good. Alright guys, take care. Bye-bye.